Hey, what's up guys? Rusty here, bringing you a brand new video. And today, guys, we are checking out the new TU53 update that just got released for Minecraft, Xbox, Minecraft, uh, PS4, and all that jazz, and so on. Yeah. So, but we're focused on Xbox, because that's where it's at, right? Okay. So, today, guys, it is May 30th, and TU53 just got released. It got released around 2 a.m. I don't know why they chose such an early time. I was sleeping at 2 a.m. What are you doing, 4J? But anyway, guys, so we got a lot of new things in this update. So there are some things missing, and I'll go into that at the end of the video. But for the most part, we got some pretty good stuff going on here. So, as you can see behind me, we have the shulker boxes. I will get into those a little bit later. But I'm going to start reading off the change log that they just submitted, and it's going to be all good. So, first off, they added the Adventure Time mashup pack. I have a video for that. That's probably going to be the third video, video you see on my channel, either going up later on tonight or early tomorrow. We also got the Magic the magic Gathering skin pack. You guys will be seeing that directly after this video. So that's all good. I've, I've, I'm ready for all these updates, right? You also got the new Temple map. That's for Glide. So it's free. You don't have to buy anything. If you didn't buy the new Glide pack that just came out, well, you can you can glide around on Temple for free. It's all good. They also added, your best run in Glide will now be recorded. As long as it's under five minutes, and the ghost will assist you in solo mode to help you improve. Okay, cool. The default controls have been changed. You can now slightly define your own co control scheme in the options menu. What they mean by that is you can go into options, you can go into controls, and you can go into inverted look, southpaw look, and then as well as you can just change, like, for instance, if you don't want your crafting to be X, you want it to be, like, Y, right? Then you can change it, and you can make your inventory, you know, X. Whoa. That's that's cool. I mean, I don't know anyone that would want to do that, but I mean, hey, you know, you don't know, you just don't know. So I'm gonna change mine back to Y because why not? All right? Okay, cool. With that being added, they also added the new pick block. This is a unassigned by default. Okay. So I don't know what that is. I think it might be this. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, it's basically dual wielding. I think. I think they added dual wielding. I think that's what it is. Okay. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. Well, no, actually, I'm, I am wrong because they added the offhand slot in the, for the maps and arrows. So that's the offhand slot. Okay, so what they mean by that is like I can take my bow and I can take these arrows, right? And now I got these arrows in my hand and now I can go like this. See that cow? It's poisoned now. It's going to die. And if it doesn't die, I will. You're not going to die. Okay, you're going to die now. Great. So the cow's dead. We're all ingredient. That, that was a good thing I did there. You can also put a map there, but. I've realized you have to unlock the map, right? And then you can put the map in there and you can just totally like explore and you don't have to keep pulling your map out. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty handy. If you, you know, I think it's it's a pretty cool feature that I think they're trying to tiptoe around dual wielding because it was such a controversial like update. So they're trying to like, oh, let's play it smart and give the player something that, you know, might make them mad a little less. So smart move on their part. They also add the shulker box. These are items. Okay. So you ever hear about the tip of if, if you get a silk touch pick and you break it, you can continue continuously carry around an ender chest. Well, there's no need for that now because these shulker boxes, you can put stuff in them, right? Okay. Let's see. I want to put these arrows in the shulker box, right? Okay. Then I say I switch to survival, right? Wait, let me give myself a pickaxe real quick, right? Let's do this. Let's, let's do this smart. Let's give myself a pickaxe, okay? Then we're going to switch to survival, right? All right. So they're in there, right? All right. So I'm going to walk about, I don't know, a couple blocks. Nothing serious. And I place it down. They're still there. So it's like a backpack, right? That's pretty cool. So they added that. Well, that's a great thing to have. It's like extra inventory space. So you have like four of these, and you can carry around all your building supplies. So this is going to be great for my survival series because... I get tired of having to carry separate, you know, separate things in separate boxes. So you got you got all the colors. You got brown. You got green. You got pink. You got blue. You got, I think this is light blue, but you can open them sideways, which is pretty cool, right? You got black, cyan, white, lime green, red, magenta, and orange. All cool. All really cool. I love it. So let me switch back to uh, creative real quick, so we can keep looking through what else they added. We also got shulker shells. Now, shulker shells, I'm pretty sure, is how you make shulker boxes. But that's what they look like, shulker shells. There you go. 
You want to see what it looks like in your hand? There, there you go. It, it looks like uh, it just looks like a shulker shell. That's pretty cool, right? All right. They also added in the feature you can now get iron nuggets. Now, if you don't know what iron nuggets are, I'm gonna show you real quick. Iron nuggets look like this. Now. You know how you get your mob farms and you get iron chest plates and gold chest plates? You can now smelt that down to iron nuggets to make them into iron ingots and gold ingots, which is a pretty cool feature. I was waiting for this. More items can now be used as fuel in the furnace. That's pretty cool. They added new note, note, uh, new note black sounds, as well as they added some sound effects for filling up cauldrons, paddling boats, using a fishing rod, and end portals. And now you can use fireworks while gliding with a ledger wings, which will now give you boast a boost. Don't try this at home, they say. So I wouldn't try this near your house, okay? I'm going to try it near my house because I don't have a house, right? Uh, actually, I do have a house. I'm recording this, but I don't have a house in this game. So we're going to find ourselves some electro wings, right? Quick. I don't know where they're at. There they are. All right. Then we're going to find ourselves some fireworks. Let's see if we can find some fireworks here. All right. We got some fireworks here. So we're going to go up all the way, right? So I'm going to show you how this works. I think I got a gist of it. So basically, let me go up to this hill real quick. Because look at my wings. I can't wait to get these in survival. It's going to be so amazing. So basically, we're going to switch to survival. Because it's not going to work. For any well, it would work, but we're not going to try it in creative. So basically, you go... Oh, wait. You got to put it in your offhand. You got to put it in your offhand. I'm going to die. Dang it. Okay. So you gotta put it in your offhand, I believe. Oh no, you can't. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so basically you jump off a cliff. Oh crap. And you probably wanna you probably wanna, you know, look forward. Not like I just did. That's a fail. That was attempt number one, and that was a bad attempt. So, we're going to try this again. And hopefully I won't die, right? Okay, let's go. Let's try this one more time for the sake of the video. So you can now... What? Okay, so they blow up. That's great. That's fine. I'm going to have to... This rain? Why are you raining? Why you gotta rain? Times at night. Times at day. The rain won't go away. God dang it. Okay, we're gonna do the rest of this video in the rain. Not much left. They also added concrete blocks as well as concrete powder. So, and I'm still in survival. Well, dang it. Alright, so let me show you the concrete blocks. This rain is really going to bug me. So we got terracotta blocks. These are new blocks that just got added to the PC. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to check out a couple of them. We also got concrete. I think, yeah, concrete. This is now wool. This is, no, this is concrete. So, I'm gonna grab, what is this, light blue? I'm gonna grab, uh, I grab light blue. Okay. We also got the design terracotta blocks. So, they can, these can be, like, turned into formations and stuff. They also changed the color of some wools because it was contradicting with terracotta blocks, is what I'm understanding. But you got concrete. You can, you can slide on concrete. It's, like, it's pretty cool. You got the light blue concrete. You got scion. That doesn't really look like scion, but okay. You got green concrete. You got lime terracotta concrete. You got concrete powder, which I'm pretty sure if you add water to it, it becomes concrete. But I don't think it works like that in rain. You got light blue concrete. Oh, look at that! Look at that slide. Then this is the purple glazed terracotta. So these can be turned into like. You see what I'm saying? They can do pattern. You can do patterns with these, right? So it's pretty cool. But this one's probably one of my favorites. It's, it's just the most logical one. So I can turn these like this, and then go like this. So it's like a little. Well, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little feature they added. As well as, uh, that's a, I think that's about it. The rest is bug fixes. So, nothing serious. Guys, this is a pretty, de you know, it's an alright update. I was kind of looking forward to shields possibly coming. As well as dual wielding swords and dual wielding, like, you know, tools and stuff. But, I mean, for now, this suffices. My personal thoughts on it, it could have been better if they just fully went into it. But, I mean, I understand why they're tiptoeing around it. Because it divided the Minecraft community so much when they added dual wielding so i understand why why they're doing what they're doing do i appreciate it no because i kind of like dual wielding it's it's it looks cool i kind of want to dual wield stuff but yeah anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did be sure to punch that like button subscribe for more content 
if you guys, if I missed anything, I don't think I did, but if I missed something that you thought was major, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, this will be the first video you guys are seeing, so I'll see you guys in another video later on today. It's been Rusty, and I'm out. Peace.